Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another adventure of Pokemon Masters with me. So in the last video, we kind of cleared up chapter 2 with Barry and we unlocked some daily missions that you can probably do uh, and to get more like uh, items to help you power up your Pokemon, maybe even evolve them in the future. But ever since yesterday's video, I have actually been grinding in the game. Uh, <laughs> So I kind of maxed out all the available scouts or trainers within my uh, collection and of course there are some missions that popped up and it actually involves evolving the uh, Pokemon I suppose. So um, currently only two trainers I have that um, have Pokemon that are like in their basic forms which then can go into their you know, next evolution and that kind of stuff. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. At the same time, yay! So as you can see, um, Dana actually promoted on the Japanese Twitter for Pokemon Masters that uh, Olivia is getting a feature. And of course, right now you can see there's this banner here um, showing that Olivia is the next gacha, uh, rather the next trainer being focused on in the gacha that's coming up soon and yeah it's pretty fantastic so I guess if you guys are fans of Olivia or her name in Japanese is actually Laichi so uh, yeah so I don't understand once again why they have to change the name of the character because Laichi is a fruit uh, fruit's name in English so that's pretty interesting as to why they are doing so in changing their name, oh well, that's uh, Pokemon for you. So anyways, um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you. Oh, I have new friends. Oh, that's nice. Anyone else asking for friends? Pending? Hey, let me just add them up. Oh, we got some Japanese friends. Oh, that's it. What? Oh, okay. So I was waiting for the screen to load something. So uh, at, this, at this point in time, as you can see, we have certain things at the bottom of the screen that is like still locked because I have not cleared certain part of the story. I do know you have to be in chapter 5 of the main story to have the main events going on uh, playable. Like Blue actually has a event going on right now. I didn't know about Blue's event because I was we're wondering how come I'm still not able to see events uh, thanks to a friend Augustine who actually pointed it out for me and yeah so and he was like updating me saying that uh, actually Olivia has been around in the game for quite some time and you know ever since the official launch the official one um, where both iOS and Android were capable of playing the game. Uh, I do not count the time that um, the game was being demo tested by Android users only. That period does not exist to me. Uh, that period, if, this, if let's say for example there are gachas that were released during that period, those to me are not considered as official launch gachas um, because we're only like certain people in the world are able to play if you own an Android phone and of course you had to like uh, download the APK of the app uh, initially the game was only playable by Singaporeans uh, yeah so if, even some Singaporeans actually had to download the APK for the game to play to be able to play the game because if you try to download it off the Google Play Store it would not let you download once it has reached a certain capacity um, of players that you know they, they initially wanted to help test the game so yeah so it's kind of like cheating i suppose <laughs> anyway guys what are your opinions on that um you know very selective uh, test period of play uh yeah but since the game has finally been officially released blue is in my books, the first official featured gacha, then followed by Olivia. Uh, I do know, thanks to Augustine, that before Blue, there was a gacha present which features most, uh, I think, five different five star trainers. 
uh, but also you know they didn't have really high pool rates so yeah anyways I managed to gather up 3,500 stones oh wait Olivia's gacha is out oh I thought it was coming soon <laughs> okay so I have 3,000 stones on hand already thanks to all the grinding I did you know clearing missions getting those gems uh, of course the important thing is to clear the daily missions and of course the daily um, resource missions you know because those actually come with free gems attached to them and you definitely want to attain them if you want to pull future gachas i am going to skip blue but let's take a look at olivia's uh lichen rock first to see how its stats fare you know, HP 4000, uh, not 4000, I'm so used to looking at Uta macros, everything goes by the thousands. The Pokemon Masters, everything is hundreds. <laughs> so it's 472 HP, 357 attack, defense is low, um, special attack. So Lycan Rock focuses on mainly attack, not the special attack. Um, why this is actually important, because there are certain skills, like, let's let's say, Lycan Rock has an X attack support skill, which boosts the main attack stat. So, if you guys have Rosa, I'm sure everyone has Rosa, because we all started with Rosa. Rosa Snivy actually has an X uh, special attack up. So, that skill boosts the special attack instead of the attack, which Snivy uses. Because all of the moves that Snivy uses is all the uh, special attack versions instead of the physical attack ones. So yeah, um, if you're playing strategically, which you need to learn, um, which I kind of learned during the grind I did yesterday. So uh, this kind of thing is you have to be very, uh, I would say, knowledgeable of because um, similar like the normal Pokemon games, if you're in a hardcore player mode for VGC which is the video uh, video game competitions VGC so yeah um, you need to know all this by heart and how you can strategize when to use the skills when to use the attack it's pretty much similar to Pokemon Masters it's just that Pokemon Masters is more fast paced uh, and you don't really have to predict moves I suppose not as much as the standard regular Pokemon games where you really really need to predict your moves and of course uh, to stare at your opponent and you know try and taunt them with your glass physically <laughs> that kind of stuff so yeah hard as diamonds what is this sharply raises the user's accuracy and critical hit rate sharply lowers the user's special oh this is very very useful but reduces the special defense Huh. Okay, so I guess the decrease of special defense is used to combo with another Pokemon in your team that attacks the special defense stat, I suppose, because Lycan Rock attacks the defense stat. So, yeah, that's a pretty interesting combo in terms of support skills. Rock Troll, um, okay, it's a single hit. Single hit. Hit. Let me see. Yeah, it's a single hit attack. Power of 27, 90% accuracy. Stone Edge is 80% accuracy, 120% power. Yeah, both are single hit. So I don't know. Um, Olivia seems decent. Let's compare with Blue to see which one I should actually pull. Air Slash uh, is also a single target. Uh, Air Cutter is all opponents though, so actually if you're going for AOE, Blue's Pidgeot actually might be be- Oh! <laughs> Almost pressed the wrong thing. Uh, might actually be better. Uh, okay, so 300 single opponent. Hmm. What about Blue? It's your finishing move. Oh, main finishing move is also a single opponent. What about the Mega? Also a single opponent. Oh, okay, so the finishing move doesn't actually change. Hmm. But that Hurricane does do a lot of um, difference. Plus, if I were to combo blue with uh, Rosa Snivy at this point in time, it's going to be insane because both of them has the special attack boost. Wow. 
And yeah, the skill actually stacks, just like in Pokemon games. So I guess blue is the way to go for me, because I currently have nothing to combo with Rosa. I mean, not, not Rosa, I mean uh, Olivia. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a lot of stuff to consider when it comes to scouting. Alright, so I guess this will be my first gacha pool for Pokemon Masters. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to save up another 3000 gems just to do another scout. So, Olivia's gacha, let's see, we have different trainers inside there. And it seems like... I think... Yeah, they're all slightly different in terms of the lower ranking trainers. Um, but for the 5 stars, they're pretty... Oh wait, blue is there as well. Huh. What about blue? Olivia is there as well, it's just that their percentage of getting is actually lower. So, yeah, so play whichever gacha that has a featured uh, trainer, depending on which trainer you want the most. So yeah, currently I want blue more than Olivia. So I'm going to go with that 2% pool rate for blue instead. So hopefully, so how many people do we get? We get 10. Hmm. Okay, so let's do this. My first ever gacha pool, uh, or rather a scout. Uh, in, in Pokemon Masters, they call it scout instead of gacha. So, <laughs> but we all know it's a gacha system. So yeah, let's do this, guys. I am, I'm pretty interested to see what kind of animations they will show to tell you like what are the rarer pools all right here we go slot in the quarry phone Ooh. so let's pay attention to the animation because i would love to figure out what is the animation we are looking for for a good pool we have four stars grunt Oh, oh Blissey! Wow! But she's three stars! Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Hey, we got Olivia! <laughs> Even though it's not her featured gacha. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, Crasher. Oh! Another Jimmy leader. Nice. Hey, it's a duplicate. Sync, move, level up. Okay. Blaine! Ooh! Blaine's a four star? Why? Well, I guess main trainers have higher rarities, I suppose? I don't know. Maybe there's a 5 star version of Blaine in the future. Oh, Roxy! Hey! Okay, so if you guys didn't know, she's actually my favorite gym leader. It took that many generations to, for me to pick a favorite gym leader. <laughs> uh, what? Why I like Roxy? Well, uh, I guess it's the bad girl attitude. I don't know. She is, a, she is a nice person. It's just that she's a rocker. But I have a thing with musical um, talented people <laughs> that's probably one of the reasons why I like my cross because it has idols and music <laughs> okay there we go so next one oh Candice uh, she's a gym leader but 3 stars hmm. hey at least we got a uh, 5 star although it's not blue but hey it's still something <laughs> I don't know is it possible to actually miss a 5 star from a 10 person, a 10 person scout? I think it is possible because after all it is a gacha system but they didn't really show... Uh, I don't know, there is no real notification of, or, or maybe some kind of specific animation when you're pulling the scout to show that you have actually gotten a, you know, a high rank trainer so, huh, maybe the next time we pull another scout, we should pay closer attention. So anyway, guys, uh, okay, so 
I was busy with grinding stuff, so there are daily missions I've yet to do, so I probably will do this after the video. So yeah, and I probably should do this video quickly because I have to sleep for work. Hmm. Alright, so... Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll just show you guys what I've been doing. So, I managed to clear the entire three missions under the level up, although it was pretty difficult to handle the last one, uh, even though after maxing up my characters to their max level at the point of, you know, their cap, uh, Rosa is the highest with level 40, and then of course Barry is at level 35, you know, that kind of stuff. You guys take note of all these kind of things. Now of course, strike course, all the courses, basically I only managed to clear up to the hard level. Uh, very hard was too difficult. And of course, the the tech super courses, I only managed to clear normal. Anything above normal was insanely difficult. I think I probably had to wait until my Pokemon all evolved. So, yeah. Um, and of course, co-op mode, I don't have it yet because I'm probably not at the chapter where they unlock co-op mode. So, yeah, anyway, let's go to sync pair because we've just gotten a bunch of new trainers. But the main thing is, I want to do Rosas and Berries because these stories from Rosa and Berry will actually have the evolution for the Pokemon. So that's pretty awesome. So let's do this. Um, in order to participate in sync pair stories about Pokemon evolution, you need some evolution materials. You can exchange certain items for evolution materials in the shop. Oh, I don't have a single one. Okay, so let's go to the shop. So we are learning as we play along. Exchange items. Which one was it? Is it this one? Oh. Okay, so let's exchange. Wait, you can only change two of these and each one comes with five. So, is it refreshed every day? I hope it is. Uh, this is pretty important to me though, the move gauge. Because right now as you start off a new account, your move gauge cap is at four. And I think six is the highest. So once you buy these two, you get the max move gauge. Um, because Rosa Snivy actually has a skill to re um, refresh the entire gauge bar. Uh, so that's pretty useful. I think Rosa's abilities so far have been pretty awesome. Uh, pretty nice of Dana to set up a trainer this powerful, I guess, at the start. Alright, so let's exchange two of these. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, so the more you change, wait, it, it disappeared. So I thought it was the same thing, but actually it, it disappeared. So, wow. Okay, so I'm going to take this since there's only one. Hopefully tomorrow, um, it shows up again. Oh, wait, what? There's a time limit version. Oh no. The one I exchanged was... Tradable any time of day. Oh dang. Ah, okay, so I probably should pay attention to all of these tiny deta details. So yeah, anyway, so whatever mistakes I do is for you guys to see and of course you learn from them. So let's learn about Pokemon Masters together. Uh, let's claim all. Oh, they even claim from the daily side as well. That's pretty nice. Hey. Okay, so let's go back in to sync pair stories. Let's do Rosas first because her Snivy is awesome and it deserves its evolution. Here we go. Yes. Pokemon evolve upon completing this adventure. This cannot be undone. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Whoa, this is Zoroa. <laughs> this I Brisson man. What in the world is this language? Oh wait. No, I accidentally typed the screen and the text went away. No <laughs> Huh? Who are you? Wait, is that you Bryson? 
Hmm. You wish to do some intensive training with your Snivy? Well then, I shall oblige. Prepare to be defeated. Uh, what what's going on? It's like you've totally become the character you play in the movies. <laughs> I knew this day would come. I procured this Zorok for that very purpose. Now bring it! Okay, so we are fighting a Zorok with a Snivy. Huh. And we are the only one alone? Oh no, that's not good. Okay, so we're gonna use the attacks to finish the gauge. Then after that, we will use the special attack while waiting for it to charge up and boost our stats. So that's pretty much how you play Pokemon Masters. Um, don't waste any moves. Oh, he got his finishing first. Hopefully I don't die. Okay. I should be able to knock him out with this next move. Oh no, he survived. Ow. Die. I mean faint. Wait, he didn't die. Never mind. This should finish him off. There we go. How? How do you manage to brush aside me, Bryson Man, and my mighty Zoroark so easily? I underestimated you, Snivy Girl. Bryson, you don't have to keep up the act anymore. You came here to battle for Snivy and my sake, didn't you? <laughs> I, I have no idea what you're talking about. F farewell, Snivy Girl. Oh, he's shy. <laughs> Whoa, Snivy! Are you about to evolve? Just felt this sudden rush of power. This is amazing! Promise me you'll always be together, even after you evolve. So, is there an animation for evolution? I hope it there is. Hey, there we go! They even have the text, huh? Snivy is evolving. <laughs> Just like the original game. That's so cute. Although the evolution looks a bit similar to Pokemon Go. Huh. Alright. Hey, more gems. Alright, so we are done evolving Snivy. Let's go evolve Barry's Piplup. There we go. Oh, it's that lady with the blissy. Excuse me, young lady. Come battle my Piplup. Hi. Who? Me? Of course I'll be your opponent. <laughs> Alright! My Piplup is raring to go. Time for a Pokemon battle! <laughs> I'm not sure how well I'll battle, but I'll give my absolute best. Oh, that, that, that Blissey is. Oh, wait, I tapped the wrong thing! Oh no! <laughs> ah, that's fine. Hopefully, Blissey doesn't have some kind of. Paralyzing move. Oh wait, it did paralyze me. Oh no! I wasted a full heal. Ow! Hey, wait! No, I wasn't supposed to go first. Oh dang it! Oh! Oh no! Oh no, people up! Oh wait, that's not fair, you heal! What? I hope I didn't lose the items. Oh no! 
That's not fair! Wait! Did my items disappear? Wait! Oh, oh wait, it's still here! So we get to try again! Ah! Okay, let's try again! Okay, let's skip all this because we've seen it before. Alright, here we go. Bubble, bubble, come on. Oh, we're paralyzed. Who heal, come on. Then bubble beam. Bubble do Kosen! Bubble! Bubble do Shuto! And finish her, finish her, come on! Ah! Oh, again, I'm slower than her! Oh no! Please don't die! Oh! Let's skip the animation! Oh wait, we knocked her out! Yay! <laughs> it's because of that one wrong move! <laughs> the last round! It made me lose the entire battle. Oh dang! What a strong pit plop you have. I couldn't help myself from being impressed. <laughs> right? I knew it! My synergy with pit plop is perfect! Huh? What's happening to pit plop? Could this be evolution? Pit plop, are you evolving? I told you he was raring to go. Alright! We're going to get stronger and stronger until we're the strongest Pokemon and trainer in the world. Yay! Watch my baby grow, although I do not like your trainer. So we should be able to handle more difficult levels, I guess. Alright, so that's all for now for Sing Pass. Let's go to the main story. Let's move along with chapters 3. Because I, w I do kind of want to take part in Olivia's event. So maybe let's spend a bit more time this episode. The place Paolo told us about should be around here, right? Uh, but yikes, this place is hot. Are there really trainers that come here on purpose? Hiya! Huh? Not done yet! <laughs> I guess there actually are people here. Look over there. Hey, it's Blaine! Is that all you've got, Flannery? Get back up. I'm not done yet! Hey, you guys are trainers, right? Can we ask a question? Wait, you guys, you don't know who they are, gym leaders. <laughs> Barry, you moron. <laughs> huh? What's up? We're looking for people to join our PML team. Oh, the PML! I see, but... I'm training with Blaine here so I can be an awesome trainer like my grandpa. I'm flattered you ask, but I want to focus on getting stronger right now. Oh man, you're not gonna compete? Well, I guess we can't force you. I see you've made your way to Pasio as well, Blaine. Didn't think I'll see you here. Pleasure running into you, bro. Seems like you've got yourself a pretty strong team here. Hmm, I just had a brilliant idea. See, I've been thinking of moving on to a new training area here pretty soon. Sorry to spring this on you guys, but how would you feel about blat uh, battling? Bl not blattering. <laughs> I was gonna say blattering. Uh, battling Flannery here. Alright, let's go. Oh there, pump the brakes a bit, will ya? 
I didn't mean right this second. There are a lot of other sync pairs that came here to train. A lot of hot blooded ones just like us. <laughs> How about you battle your way through them and finally battle Flannery at the top of the volcano? Wait, so like a gym? Where you defeat the underlings first? Okay. Wait. You want me to represent all the other trainers here and stand atop the volcano? As the final trainer to beat? Oh gosh. Sounds a little... Pretty big, bro. Wait, I mean... That sounds like a pretty big, bro. <laughs> Wait, why am I hesitating? Planes entrusting me to represent the volcano as the strongest trainer of us all! I'll show you what I'm made of! Come see me at the top, if you can! Well, look at that kid go! Sorry to put all of this on you kids, but could you do me a favor and humor her for a bit? Don't worry, you won't waste your time. You're looking for team members, right? I'm sure you'll find a few great ones. Good deal! Thanks for looking out, old man! Let's go! Alright, so we're gonna have to whoop some trainers' asses. Wonder how many we have to beat. Alright, so. I'll, oh, oh, oh! They evolve! So, Barry's Pokemon uses water type moves, so having him on your team will give you an advantage. Hey, nice! Wait! Recommended type is Rock. Okay, so let's bring Brock. Long. Let's change. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing. Um, I don't know how you can let's let's see Barry's stats. So, Barry's Primplup actually uses the attack stats. So, Barry is actually good with uh, Olivia. So, yeah, I guess the next time I will change out. Um, Rosa with Olivia to pair up with Barry. Uh, then of course, you know... Well, I think Onyx is pretty much the physical attacker as well instead of the special attacker. As you can see, the stats are different, so yeah. Alright, so I guess we just go with this make-do team for now. Uh, okay, pretty good. So I'll just show you guys what I kind of learned. So, like, in the evolution battles, um, choosing your moves correctly uh, is also part of the whole strategy. So, let's explain that further later on. When it comes to camping, safety comes first. Same goes for Pokemon battling. Hmm. That's pretty wise words from someone so young. Alright, so here we go. So while waiting for the energy bar to charge up, maybe we can attack just to um, get use a bit of it first. Of course, we bubble closer because we want to have some refresh gap. Alright, then bubble because bubble does multi target attacks. Bubble beam. There we go. So <laughs> considering that their levels are quite high, um, it wasn't really a balanced battle. <laughs> <laughs> it's very one-sided, but that's Pokemon games for you. So, <laughs> unless everyone is like the same level, uh, like the <laughs> video game tournaments where they round down. Oh, I've been skipping the text. Oh god. So, <laughs> like yeah, I say, um, they round down um the Pokemon's max level, you know, so that like everybody has a fair chance of fighting. But the minimum level you need to be at is like level fifty. So yeah. Uh, then again, if you're always prepared for the unexpected, is it really unexpected anymore? Hmm. Let's keep going. <laughs> I just won a battle, so I'm in a great mood. Ah, nice you're, to see that you're so positive. I'm just gonna whoop your ass and make you depressed. <laughs> Alright, let's do this rock throw. I'm gonna do a bubble because we want a triple kill. Nice. Oh, one more. It's nice that bubble only uses one single energy. Oh, that's it. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't very um 
Look at this, my mood is ruined. Yes, that's the whole point. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Wait, what? Under a waterfall? Huh, so evolving the Pokemon doesn't uh, release the level cap. It's pretty interesting. So I wonder what actually releases the level cap of the Pokemon. Hmm. I'm chasing my dream and I'm fighting for a victory. But you have to understand, not all dreams can come true. Aha! <laughs> so Bubble is pretty useful because it hits all enemies and of course at the same time, since it costs lesser, it's a great way to charge up your finishing move. Yeah, there we go. So we're doing this pretty quickly. It's just that the reading of text takes some time. I can't catch that dream. Haha, <laughs> like I said, not all dreams can come true. That is a lot of people. Science happens wherever scientists are present. Namely, this very place! Which contains things I would very much like to research. So do not come any closer. I would like to immerse myself in my research now, so I'll be limiting you from my vicinity. Prepare to battle! Whoa, we triplets. Rocktro, Bubble, Special Attack, I guess. Not that we need it because, well, Onyx and Primplop use us the normal attack stat. <laughs> there we go. Rocktro. Oh, Rocktro also uses one energy. Oh, wow. So Onyx and Primplop are like um, finishing move charges. So normally, to be more efficient, you switch between your three Pokemons and attack, you know, take, taking turns so that there is very little lag time in between. You dare take research away from a scientist? Uh, I said don't step there. You ruined my precious research samples. I mean it. Don't come anywhere near my vicinity. I'm going to step wherever I want to. <laughs> you don't own the mountain. All right, moving on to the next one. Hey, it's Blade. Oi! Ah, there you are. I saw the way you battle out there with your team. You're much stronger than I imagined. Wait, you know that old guy from earlier. What are you doing here? <laughs> I realized that I may not have explained the full situation. Hmm. What do you mean, the full situation? Ah. It's about Flannery. She's a good trainer, has a lot of passion and ambition. The problem with her is that she gets riled up very easily. Ah. Uh, now that you mention it, that girl earlier was getting oddly pumped up. Ah. You know, the battles of Pasio are all team battles. I want her to learn to not get ahead of herself and to depend on others. That's why I suggested that she battle your team. I see. If that's the case, leave it to us. I appreciate it. I really owe you one. Flannery should be up ahead. I'll be watching your battle from the shadows. Despite what he says, Blaine must be worried about Flannery. Alright, let's hurry to the top. Wait, we're there already? Wasn't there like a trailer behind Blaine? <laughs> hey, there you are. Uh, I mean, you've done well to make it this far. If you're here, that means you were able to win all your battles to get here. You must be pretty good. For my honor as a gym leader and as the granddaughter of an elite four member, and to bring honor to Blaine, who trained with me, I'll show you my hottest moves. 
Hiya! Wait, she gave me stuff instead of fighting me. <laughs> oh wait, okay, it's the next one. Boss battle, let's go! I shouldn't be bringing Snivy since it's weak against fire, but ah, oh, oh well. <laughs> Rock throw! Bubble! Bubble! Let's kill all the tiny ones at the side first. Nice! One more time! Let's keep one shotting them. Oh! That's all for them? Alright, then Bubble Beam! Bubble, then we time to energize. Then we'll have our max. Oh, I should have waited. Uh, never mind, it's okay. One hit KO. Hey, there we go. Not really, not really a one hit KO after I took quite a bit of damage already. But oh, wait, wait. you get the point. <laughs> and lots of EXP lost since most of them are kept already. New area unlock. You unlock a new kind of area where you can explore past you and mingle with other Pokemon trainers. These special areas won't affect your progression in the main story so you can explore whenever you like. Okay, so wait, but chapter 4 is not out. Oh, oh we're gonna have Flannery join us. Oh cool. Phew. I haven't had a heated battle like that in ages. And your teamwork! That was awesome! <laughs> exactly! You did well to notice, Flannery. But, 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 Blaine? How long were you watching us? You are indeed a powerful trainer, Flannery. But your eagerness as a team leader has given you tunnel vision. What you need right now are friends that you can trust and depend on! Friends? <laughs> That's right! Friends! So here's your final challenge, Flannery. Yes. Join Silent CL's team and make your way to the PML. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Travel with friends, have fun, battle with them, and try to reflect on the choices you've made. I'm certain you'll grow a lot as you go. <clears throat> we'll be more than glad to have you on our team, Flannery. What do you say? Thanks! I think you're right, Blaine. I'll do it! <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Let me join your team. Let's make it to the PML together. Of course! Ooh, thanks! Yes. Make sure she doesn't get into too much trouble, alright? I'm off to form my own team for the PML. <laughs> Both of them really like to pose. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> I never said it out loud, Flannery, but I've been itching to battle you with these new rules. <laughs> My trainer's spirit has long been ignited. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if that's the game you're going to play, I want in. The next time we see each other, I'm not holding anything back. No. Let's get moving. How many badges do we have so far? Uh, badges? Mm. Alright, oh, badges. This might be a good time to start collecting them. Uh. <laughs> we need to collect 5 badges to officially compete in a PM. Well, 5 is better than 8 <laughs> from the standard video games, so thank goodness. And each badge is held by a PML leader. Do you know who any of these leaders might be? Mm. Now that you mention it, a gym leader friend of mine from Kanto, Erika? Might have said something about being a PML leader. Yes. Then we don't have any time to lose. Thanks for everything, Blaine. I'm looking forward to battling you the next time we see each other. <laughs> <laughs> You're on, kid. Alright. Whoa. Hey, there we go. The friendship handshake. 
She's definitely a Sundere. <laughs> and we've got chapter 4! That's pretty fast. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. It's a pretty long one, but we are moving along a bit more faster. Um, hopefully by tomorrow we should finish up chapter 4. And of course, we'll move on to chapter 5 which then will allow us to play the regular, no, the special events um, that Dana sets up, you know, because whenever there's a focus scout, uh, there's a special event going on for that particular trainer as well. I don't know, maybe during the events, you get certain items that maybe the trainer's Pokemon actually requires to evolve, that kind of stuff, I don't know. Let's figure things out as things go along. But of course, I'm going to have to regret not doing all this a lot faster because maybe Blue's event is ending pretty much um, anytime soon. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you as always. Let me know what you think about the video. Oh, Flannery has something to actually give us. Yeah, but like before that, uh, let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments down below if you have anything to ask. Or maybe you like to mention certain things to uh, inform me about because I am exploring Pokemon Masters on my own. I am not using any help in any of the social media pages because a lot of people are actually explaining things from their experience during the Android playtest uh, time period which I officially do not consider um, official launch period so uh, yeah. So I'm going to do this on my own, I'm going to explore the game uh, on my own and of course at my own speed with my own, um, you know, attentiveness <laughs> to certain things, uh, just like I did with Utah My Cross. So let's see what Flannery has to give me. Oh, alright. A pretty common item. So anyway, guys, thank you guys again. Like in all my videos, I can never say thank you enough because I really appreciate it if you guys actually watch through all um, five parts of Pokemon Masters video and maybe anything else on my YouTube channel that may interest you. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys one last time. <laughs> and, uh, leave a like to the video if you like the content for this particular video. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Masters adventure. Until then, bye!